hi there it's rose welcome back to the channel okay, so today we're treating types of log within if you've not seen the previous video you can check it out so you can catch up with us okay so what are the types of log within that we have the common log within it's a case where you have log to base 10. in most cases you're not even given the base you're just giving log you know log something solve something without a base and you're wondering why is there no base is this question incorrect no my dear the question is very much correct it's log to base 10. that's how you have it on your calculator as a default you have just the log you don't have a base check your calculator so we can confirm this is log to base 10 of 1000 because there is no base so you automatically know it's base 10 and your answer is how do we know that when you raise 10 to the power of 3 you get 1000 as for those who saw our previous videos I'm sure they understood what I just did here so if you're not on track keep yourself on track by clicking there's a link somewhere I can't remember where but click it the next one we have is natural logarithm so in calculus there's a man called John Napier he decided to find a base that was convenient so you can also call natural logarithm Napierian this is the number that he found out it's approximated to 2.718 he said let's represent it as e okay so you have log sorry so where you have log to base e of something let's say 4 it's same as lean 4 and then you get your answer so if you check your calculator you would see e you have e right and you also see lean which is natural log it's ln it's natural log you'll see these two things on your calculator they mean the same thing so it's either you put your log to base e of the value or you put lean of that value you'll get the same thing okay you can try this one and let me know your answer in the comment section note that some mathematicians actually use log in place of lean in place of natural log they use log instead of ln so please be careful whenever you're treating something like that make sure you know that it is natural log they are referring to okay so moving on we have a case like this where you have log redeem with decimals so far so good we've been doing logarithms dealing with old numbers we've not done anything that has decimal but note that we have cases where you have decimal okay like an example like this log to base 10 of 26 gives a decimal value that means 10 raised to the power of this gives you what gives you 26 it's approximated okay so you can have a decimal so a lot of you might be confused right now like negative yes negative but you would also ask what we multiply in logarithms we deal with multiplication how many times do we have to multiply a number to get a number so why are we doing negative well the opposite of multiplication is what division so therefore you know that yes we can have negative logarithms okay let me give an example you know you have to find the number of times five can multiply something to give you 0 0.008 and in your head you're like how is that possible well it's very much possible the answer here is minus three how do we check this right we know this is same thing as raised to the power of minus three right and this is same thing as one over five raised to the power of three right and this is the same as one over five times five times five in three places one two five now use your calculator you would get 0 0.008 okay so now you know that we can have negative logarithms let me give an example and you let me know your answer for log to base 8 of 0 0.125 let me know your answer in the comment section below so given something like this you can also do it like this how many times does this decimal have to move you know anything that has us dealing with 10 is always really simple and straightforward right so how many times has one two three the first significant number right so that's minus three because it's moving to the right so your answer is negative three you know what this this means right so let's do another one i know you know this answer you move one two right 
So let's do another one. What's your answer? In conclusion, we listed four types of logarithm, right? We had the common logarithm, the natural logarithm, which is also known as the Napierian logarithm. That's the value E. We have the logarithm um, with decimals and we also have negative logarithms. You could have many other logarithms, right? But these are the four that we'll be treating. Okay, so I hope you learned something. Do not forget to like, share this video if you found it useful and subscribe because why not? See you in the next class. Bye.